I'm Miss Tangle, and welcome to Making Mini Melodies. Today, we're going to make two instruments that you can play by blowing air out of your mouth. Two of my favorite examples of these instruments are the kazoo and the harmonica. <laughs> I made a couple of my own earlier today. Can you guess some of the materials that my kazoo is made out of? And here is my homemade harmonica. Can you guess some of the materials I used here? On both of these instruments, when we blow air through them, we're vibrating a piece of paper, which creates that fun sound. So let's look at how we can make ourselves these instruments at home. Let's start with our homemade kazoo. To make the kazoo, I have three materials. A toilet paper tube, a piece of wax or parchment paper, and an elastic. For materials, I need scissors, so you'll want to get a grown-up to help you. Let's start by taking our toilet paper tube and putting it on top of our paper. Using a pen, we can trace around the edge of our toilet paper tube to make sure we're cutting it to the right size. Then, using our scissors, we can cut down our piece of paper around that circle, but make sure you leave enough space to put the elastic on. If you want, you can decorate your toilet paper tube first using markers, paint, or stickers. Once you're ready to assemble your kazoo, simply put your paper on the top, fold it down, and then tightly secure the elastic around the top. Here's a really important part that sometimes is missed when we're making homemade kazoos. You want to take your scissors, definitely get some adult help with this, and make a small hole. There we go. This hole is going to be really important for allowing our wax paper to resonate when we blow through it. Let's try it out. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> wow, sounds great. Next, I'll teach you how to make your own homemade harmonica. For this, we'll need two popsicle sticks, two toothpicks or small pieces of wood, two elastics, and a piece of paper. For this, you can use wax or parchment paper, but you can even get a decent sound out of regular white paper. First, let's take one of our popsicle sticks and put it on our paper. This is going to require a little bit of measuring, so you can make a little mark on each side, going all the way around. This lets us know how big our paper needs to be. Using our scissors, we can now cut out a piece of paper about the same size as our popsicle sticks. For older kids, tracing, measuring, and cutting are all great for developing uh, fine motor coordination. So now we have our piece of paper. Here we go, approximately the same size as our popsicle sticks. We're gonna take it and line it up here. And we're gonna take one of our little pieces of wood and put it on the end. And we're going to put it on top of the paper. I'm using sewing elastic here, so I'm gonna make a little knot to turn this line into a loop. Now we take our other popsicle stick and lay it on top. So 
So we've got a little bit of a popsicle stick sandwich with the wood from our uh, toothpick and our paper as the stuff inside the sandwich. There we go. We've got a little bit of a duck mouth here. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> now on the other end, we're going to take our other little piece of wood and put it underneath. This is an important tip. Ideally, you want to have one piece of wood on top of the paper and one on the underside. There we go. We're going to take our last one on the other end and secure it just like we did on the first end. There! Looks great! Let's try it out! <laughs> Sounds awesome. So there we go. We have two instruments that we can play out of materials we found in our own house. I'll see you next time for Making Mini Melodies with Miss Tangle. <laughs>